Dan, what is it that Global Rescue does? So we provide medical security evacuation, crisis response, and other kinds of critical services for people who find themselves in terrible circumstances. Um, we support individuals and families who buy our memberships. We support corporations, basically any company, big or small, that's got international office locations or international travelers and governments. You know, we've been involved in basically every major event of the last 10 years. So Japan, for instance, during the earthquake uh, and tsunami, Haiti after the earthquake there, um, the Arab Spring, we've been involved evacuating Americans there. So we typically deploy our own personnel, many of whom have military, former special operations experience, medical personnel, um, aircraft to the extent that we need to move someone via air uh, out of these locations. And um, we typically deploy, again, our own personnel so that we're uh, on site and able to manage the situation. So we have two types of aircraft. Uh, medically configured aircraft uh, that can function almost as flying intensive care units for people who have been injured uh, or who have taken ill uh, in this location. And then aircraft that are configured to do mass evacuations, so to be able to move dozens or even hundreds of people uh, at a time. And those aircraft are not medically configured. So what we do is we try and fit the aircraft uh, to what the mission requirements happen to be. So the types of injuries that we might expect to see in a place like Sochi would potentially have shrapnel or you know traumatic type injuries associated with those patients conditions and this type of equipment is exactly the type of equipment that would treat um, and help sustain life for those patients as they're transported from one place to another the, the way that we think about things are in terms of likelihood and magnitude um, the likelihood that anything happens is is not particularly high um, but the likelihood that something big happens is is very very low um, if something does occur, it will likely be local and contained, but there's no guarantee of that. So I think that any spectators that are attending the games should go in with their eyes wide open and understand that the possibility certainly exists that something is going to happen. Dan, do you have a family? I do. Would you let your family attend the Olympics this year? That's another great question. Uh, I would. You would. So you feel pretty confident that Americans will be safe traveling to Sochi and performing in Sochi? I do. And you're there to back that up? We're going to try. <laughs>